We made our own video game from scratch. This is Duck Hunt, one of the original games released by Nintendo. We really wanted to play it on our massive LED wall, but we found out it was impossible. So we built it ourselves in Unreal Engine. We're starting a new series where we're playing video games throughout the ages, so we thought, why not start a new series by playing Duck Hunt on our massive LED wall? But then, even before I could source an original NES or find an original cartridge, figure out how to connect it to the LED wall, I did a little Googling and I got a disappointing result. Playing the original Duck Hunt on a modern TV or a massive LED wall is almost impossible. Here's why. Duck Hunt was built for old CRT TVs. When you shoot in Duck Hunt on NES, the screen turns entirely black for one frame to set reference point for the laser's light sensor. And then for one frame, it displays a white box where the duck should be hit. And if this laser is within the white box, then you score a hit and get the duck. And all of that happens in 1 30th of a second, which is apparently too fast for modern TVs. Nevertheless, a, a massive LED wall. So we can't play Duck Hunt or at least the original Duck Hunt. So I asked one of our designers, Serhi, if he would build it himself. Sorry, man. So how did he make it happen? The first thing Serhi did was open Unreal, take an FPS template and modify it. So instead of shooting a long traveling slow projectile, Serhi made a line trace, which instantly created a collision between the end of our weapon and the target. It wasn't even a duck yet because we haven't built that. Yeah, so now on to the level itself. Basically, we wanted to make Duck Hunt in VR, but without the headset, only the controllers. But then we realized what we were building wasn't even the original Duck Hunt. It was Duck Hunt in 3D, where your perspective changed as the tip of the gun moved, which isn't what happens in the original. It's just a locked off shot. But he took a little break from that and solved the bird spawning problem. In order to make this work, Serhi needed to figure out how to get the birds to randomly spawn and fly across the screen. Then he found a plugin called Physical Boids. It spawns our target in as a physical object so it can interact with collisions and impacts. Then we changed them to ducks. We got ducks. We decided to open the monitor in the VR headset and change the physical space of our Unreal Engine window to the same spot as our LED wall in the real world. And lastly, we removed the standard cursor to just a single white dot so that it's easier to aim and also to calibrate our controller with the tip of our shotgun. We don't have a gun yet. We don't have a gun yet. We'll get to that, I promise. It's great. So for the VR solution to work, we needed someone to constantly be wearing the headset and be within reasonable proximity of the handles. By handles, I mean controls, controllers, controllers. All right, let's talk about it, the gun. Duck Hunt is not the same without a gun controller. If you download an emulator and play Duck Hunt with a mouse, I promise you, it's not as fun. So we needed to find the right gun. Something cool, but also inexpensive so that we could mold the MetaQuest's controller around it and hold both of them to fire at the ducks. And because of all of that, I have the pleasure of introducing you guys to this next segment I like to call Serhi in Walmart. Oh yeah. <gasps> Oh. oh my gosh, wait a second. That actually looks kind of like the, kind of a little bit like the thing. I think we just found our laser. Although this looks most like the duck gun controller, this is like a buckshot. Easier, I think, to take apart. I think we're gonna do this one. Sir, are you okay with the shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got our gun, and now we need to fuse it with the MetaQuest controller. It's time to queue up a build montage. Ruby. So with all of the technical stuff solved and all of the controller stuff out of the way, it's time. Game time. Are you ready? I don't know. We don't. Oh, take this away from 
Wait, I'm losing the keys. Whoa! Go. Oh! Come on. Duck drought, duck drought. Oh no. Okay. Yes! <sighs> so yeah, that was a weird way to start our video game on LED wall series because technically we didn't even play the video game. I'm gonna count it. NES? Check. In our next video of the series, we plan on taking an N64 and throwing it up on an LED wall. The only thing we need is which game we're going to play. How we hook it up? We'll get there. We'll figure it out when we get there. But tell us in the comments below which game you guys want us to play. I'm Josh. You're watching Copilot. We'll see you in the next episode.